I praise God. Clear the branch. I agree to all in the name of God. Today we are tackling a very important topic, though we are going to tackle it very fast. Uh, today's topic to be, uh, today's topic is uh, why do we cook in our dreams? Why do you dream of things boiling or cooking in the dream? Uh, we dream of cooking uh, for uh, some reasons. We will uh, see uh, maybe like 10 or 11 reasons why we dream uh, of cooking. Uh, but before we go into that, we'll say a straight prayer. Then from there, we'll go into reading a word. Uh, Lord Father, go forth as Jehovah. Be with us, Lord Father. Protect us. Shield this broadcast, Lord Father. Lord of Abraham, as a Kanchapo, raise your hand on this broadcast. Every spirit that has been forced against our broadcast tonight. Lord Father, scatter it in the mighty name of Jesus. Scatter it. Lord of Abraham, as a Kanchapo, open the heavens and let the dew of heavens overshadow you and your broadcast tonight. Father, have mercy on us. Be with us always. Lord, Father, let the blood of Jesus overshadow this broadcast. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse it, purify it from every unrighteousness whatsoever. Lord, Father, let the Holy Ghost fire intubate this broadcast and pour out every power of darkness whatsoever and for the protection in the mighty name of Jesus. For that, Lord, Father, we pray and believe. Amen. So we'll read uh, Zephaniah. We'll read Zephaniah. Uh, Zephaniah, uh, we'll read Zephaniah, it will be Zephaniah 3, but we'll just read, we'll just read, uh, uh from verses 14, we'll read from 14 to, um, 14 to 17, everyone in Jerusalem and Judah celebrate and shout with all your heart. Zion, your punishment is over. The Lord has forced your enemies to turn and, and retreat. Your Lord is king of Israel and stands at your side. You don't have to worry about the more troubles you're getting. Jerusalem, the time is coming when it will be said to you, don't be discouraged or grow, grow weak from fear. The Lord your God wins victory after victory and is always with you. He celebrates and sings because of you and he will refresh your life with his love. So God is saying, don't worry. You might go into a lot of battles, but he's always with you. He cannot forsake you. He's always with you and he's ready to turn your life uh, into a living testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. So without further ado, we we'll go into reading and to uh, 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 interpreting why we keep on uh, dreaming, why food is cooking, or why do we cook ourselves in the dream? Why do we cook? So uh, one, uh, one, uh, one point first, well, first, why we cook in the dream? First and foremost, you have to know that when you dream of cooking, it means that you're under uh, uh, mar uh you're under spiritual marriage it is a marriage you're under spiritual marriage and that spiritual marriage they've taken you as a slave they've enslaved you that's what comes first into your mind when you dream of cooking you're under spiritual marriage so now when you dream of cooking rice it means god is telling you to check that point check something in your life Check something that is very important in your life. God has given you something in your life, but you're ignoring it. So God here is telling you, thank you, Lord. Take that something serious and uh, the Lord will use that something uh, to bless you and uh, uh, to locate you in Jesus' name. So when you dream of cooking, um, for example, cooking animals, like you're cooking frogs, you're cooking uh, lizards, you're cooking such things, it means you're demonically enslaved you've been enslaved you've been bewitched it's a bewitchment that will take time in your life when you are cooking any animals for example these dirty animals the cockroaches the lizards the frogs the tortoise for uh, an extra uh, it means 
you've been bewitched, you've been surrounded and you've been dedicated and those are long-term afflictions that you will pray and pray and pray and uh, when you keep on praying is when you can kill it one by one but it means it's a, a hard battle. So when you're cooking that the food, you're, when you're dreaming that the food you're cooking is burning, it means that there is something that God gave you and you're not taking care of that thing. You are very careless about the thing, the gift God gave you. So you have to check yourself and see where you're not doing it right and rectify. So when you dream of, um, uh, also when you're cooking any uh, animals or insects, it means that you're dealing with household witchcraft. The person who is doing this to you is from the house, is from around. So you have just to take care of your. Uh, you have to just check around yourself and deal with these people and be very careful uh when you're cooking uh, animals it means also it's a spirit of restlessness that person wants you to move from one place to another that person wants you to uh, think and you don't come to conclusions when you dream of uh, also cooking such uh frogs or animals or whatever it means that you will uh, it will take you time to uh, get deliverance from uh, uh, witchcraft or whatever you uh, you might be praying for to receive deliverance it might take time those are the hard, uh, 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 rather the hard battles so when you're cooking animals i'm still on animals because it's very dangerous when you dream of cooking such animals frogs or insects whatever it means you uh, you've been like your de destiny has been diverted it's a diversion of destiny your destiny has been diverted when you are supposed to go to this place then you divert and the enemy takes you to a wrong place that's when you dream of uh, uh, going somewhere then when you reach a, a certain point you see that the road the road is blo blocked or when you uh, reach at a certain point in front you just realize that you're meeting a dead person or something those are the cooking in that dream it means your destiny has been uh, diverted so may the lord uh, take your destiny to its original uh, position in the mighty name of jesus when you dream of cooking the dream it means you are uh, you, you uh, there is your glory your destiny your virtues your good things that god uh blessed you with are in a, a pot of darkness so you have to command them to come out of every pot of darkness that is cooking your destiny is cooking your glory you have to let it come uh, you have to let them come out from every demonic pot of darkness so when you dream of cooking in that dream it means whatever you are praying for you've not completely been delivered you've not it does are incomplete deliverances it means you need to pray more for a certain situation that situation that you so most of the times i used to dream of cooking uh when i'm fasting maybe i'm doing a uh, three day fasting and the third day i dream of cooking it means yes it is you've gotten some deliverance but this thing is still in you have to again repeat the or you don't have to repeat the fasting but within you have to know that you have to arrange and again do the same fasting also that same thing that you are fasting for it means incomplete deliverance you did not completely get delivered from a, a thing that you're fasting for when you dream of uh, cooking in the dream it means your marriage is under attack so you have to pray and uh, uh, or take out the uh, whatever enemy uh, whatever enemy program into your marriage every enemy trap that he has set into your marriage they've set into your marriage you have to uh take out that trap you have to command them to fall into their demon trap and be trapped there for the rest of their lives when you dream when you keep on uh, when you uh, dream about cooking it means you are under cage you've been caged your spirit is under cage by ancestral powers idolatry powers powers of darkness witchcraft spirit whatever but you are demonically under cage you've been caged so you have to break and lose yourself from it when you dream of uh, cooking the dream it means you are under slavery what the powers of darkness are telling you is what you do so you have to break and lose yourself from every spirit of slavery that you're under. You have to break and lose yourself from them. Uh, when you dream of cooking in the dream, it means that you're under punishment. These powers of darkness have collected themselves together and they are ready to punish you severely. So it means you're under demonic punishment. So you have to uh, uh, punish them back or you have to break and lose yourself from every demonic punishment that you're under. In the mighty name of Jesus, when you dream and cooking in the dream, it means... Uh, the enemies are busy working on your destiny. Your enemies are busy working on your destiny. So you have to 
I pray that God locates every spirit for a person that is working serious on your destiny to scatter them in the mighty name of Jesus and to contend with them. Every person that is contending with you, ask God to contend with them in his anger that are contending with you and to scatter your enemy, to scatter his enemies out of your life. Because these enemies, God is bringing them to your life at least to rectify one, two, or to wake up. It's like a wake up call. So you just ask God to scatter his enemies out of your life. You're tired of fighting battles. So when you're dreaming of uh, cooking in a dream, it means that uh, those are demonic food. And when you cook in a dream, it means you've tested those foods. So the enemy wants to manipulate you that because now we know that cooking or uh, eating is bad, so they'll, uh, they'll uh, just instead make you cook. So when you're cooking in the dream, it means you're cooking demonic food. When you're cooking in the dream, you're cooking your blessings, you're cooking your destiny, you're cooking your uh, virtues, you're cooking every good thing of yours. And you know when you cook them, remember the food which is cooked, it gets spoiled. And God has blessed us with the things that cannot expire or get spoiled. But when you're cooking them, it means they have a, a time that like they, they are almost getting spoiled or thank you lord they've been polluted so you have to uh, break and lose yourself from every um, uh, every you have to uh, every demonic food that you ever cooked in that dream you command that food to burn and turn into ash let that evil food burn and to ash burn and turn into ash in the name of jesus and command every agenda of that cook in that dream cancel the agenda and i'll fight in the mighty name of jesus and every plantation that demonic food has planted into your life into your prayer i command that that demonic food to be set up, let it turn to ash, and every agenda you cancel the agenda, the plantation you root it out with the tap, tap root. That plantation of untimely death, plantation of sickness and disease, plantation of miscarriage, every demonic plantation that that demonic food has planted into your life by you dreaming it, root out the plantation. Let the might, Lord, the might power of God, the might hand locate that plantation and root it out with its tap, tap root in the tap root in the mighty name of Jesus. When you dream of cooking the dream, it means that um, uh, uh, you have, uh, there, these are problems, it's a spirit, it's a, an arrow of problems that have been fired into your marriage. The other one is an attack, this is an arrow of problems, problems of finances, problems of um, um, sickness and disease, prob all these marital problems. So it means that your marriage... Uh, those are marital, there are of marital problems when you're cooking in the dream. When you're cooking in the dream, it means uh, this is uh, satanic temptations. You're under temptations. You do something, then it will uh, 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 to take you into a big problem. It will make you uh, face a big problem. You're doing a thing that will tempt you into losing your job, tempt you into doing uh, the wrong thing, which will even make you lose your marriage. These are the demonic temptations. So you have to cancel every temptation of Satan. In your life, you cast them and nullify them. Those are satanic bewitchments. When you see yourself cooking that dream, it means you was you are you are under witchcraft. You are under uh, witchcraft. Um, you are under bewitchment. You are uh, you've been bewitched. So you have to break and lose yourself from every active uh, witchcraft that is acting in your life. You are uh, that is active in your life. You have to break and lose yourself from it in the mighty name of Jesus. When you see yourself dream uh, cooking in that dream, it means that is. Uh, you 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 unorganized in the, uh, the working life. Your life is unorganized, so you have to wake up and ask God to reorganize you in the mighty name of Jesus, and ask God to direct you on how you can get onto the ground in the mighty name of Jesus. When you're cooking, the dream is an arrow of unhappiness that the enemy wants to find into your life. When you're cooking in the dream, it means those are satanic, uh, those are ancestral. You are under ancestral control. The ancestral powers of your mother's side, your father's side, your husband's side, whatsoever. You are under ancestral control. These ancestors have organized themselves to put you into their control. Whatever you do, they tell you, okay, this is the money that you're supposed to make and this is what you're supposed to get. Break and lose yourself from every certain control you're under, every certain punishment or certain temptations you're under. Those ancestral powers, you have to be so rude when you're fighting them in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord locate you and help you uh, fight your battles in Jesus' name. When you're cooking the dream, it means you have a soul tie with a wrong person. You have a soul tie. A soul tie with a wrong person you have now to check which soul ties are surrounding you. Maybe soul ties with the uh, uh, 
maybe spiritual husband, maybe soul tie with a late person, maybe soul tie with your husband, with your wife, with anybody, a friend. There is a wrong soul tie that you're connected with, so you have to break and lose yourself from every soul tie, whatever. It doesn't matter what that soul tie is. Break and lose yourself from that soul tie in the mighty name of Jesus. When you dream of cooking in the dream, it means that the Mm -hmm. yeah, that's a loss of a, a, a loss of dignity in your marriage you are going to be looked down upon in your marriage so you have to pray hard pray as much as you can because cooking that dream affects the marriage it's like shoes 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 in the dream most of it is marriage so and the ex exes those are marriages so the enemy wants marriages so you have to break and lose yourself from that in the mind name of jesus when you're cooking in the dream it means you're operating under certain covenant there is a covenant that has refused to let you go so you have to break and lose yourself from every demonic covenant break it and shut it in the mind name of jesus when you're cooking the dream it means you're operating under some curses break and lose yourself from some curses and let God uh, delete every curse whatsoever that is operating in your life. Let God turn into uh, turn those curses into blessings and every sin that you yourself you uh, you did and caused that curse, let God have mercy on you and uh, forgive you for that sin. If you can't remember some sins, let them out and if you cannot remember, you just know that uh, 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 those are curses that, that are generational or inherited so let go the blood of Jesus cleanse your bloodline let the blood of Jesus cleanse your bloodline and uh, uh, wipe away those curses or melt them away from your life in the mighty name of Jesus when you dream of cooking in the dream it means that you're under uh, that's a limitation uh, uh, you, you are under limitation when you're cooking in the dream there are some limitations in your life that you are not supposed to pass a certain grade a certain uh, 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 a certain latitude or something there is a certain bridge that you're not supposed to pass that's a limitation so you have to break and lose yourself from every kind of limitation that you're under when you're cooking in the dream it means uh, you will have problems. It will bring problems into your man's life, your house, your wife's um, life, or your husband's life, or whatever. The problems are coming. There are a lot of problems that are connected to cooking the dream in some marital problems. So you have to cancel them and nullify them. The other one is an arrow. This one is like uh, it's a warning that there are some problems that you're or to face in the near future so you have to break and lose yourself from them in the mighty name of jesus when you're cooking in the dream it means you're under um, a demonic your uh, demonic influence uh, when you're carrying out decisions, every demonic influence that you're under when you're carrying out decisions, you want to start a business, then you transfer into another business. You want to uh, marry this man again that transfers with the other man. Those demonic decisions, demonic influence in making decisions and carrying out decisions, may the Lord uh, show you exactly what's your, what's his, where, where is his hand, so that at, at least you're not demonically influenced by evil powers. When you're cooking that dream, it means uh, 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 when you're cooking in the dream it means that uh, uh, also there is a warning that you have to uh, watch yourself watch whatever you're cooking and watch how good are you in your husband's house when it comes to cooking and God is also reminding you that check it because it might also bring you some issues when it comes to marriage so may the Lord give you the grace we'll just tackle those points and God, if we remember some others, we'll just come back still because this broadcast is here to stay. And may the Lord have mercy on us and may the Lord forgive us. May the Lord go forth us and whoever who is connected, may the Lord answer your prayers even before you finish praying. Be blessed.